are the final two books that I wanted to show you as part of this special collection spotlight session on beautiful bindings. I've shown you books that have been um, embellished by um, being uh, printed or gilded on the covers. The last book I showed you was a book that stands out because of the unusual material that was used to, um, to bind it. And the next book that I want to show you is a book that stands out because it's got added things. It's got added um, embellishments on the cover. So that's this rather sweet little book here. So this is um, a small book that has been bound in black leather and it's got a bit of embossing on it, just a very simple design. But what really makes it stand out is the book clasp. So this is um, a device that was put on books. Um, initially it would have been a security device. In the medieval period they would have been lockable. Um, but books which were a bit um, special, a bit valuable, particularly religious books, continued to often have these book clasps added to them. Um, just as a point of decoration, really. And that's what this one seems to be. The front of it is rather tarnished. It's, um, it's made of bronze or brass, some kind of copper alloy. So the front is rather tarnished, but the clasp itself and the back um, is much cleaner. So you can see it's got this little sort of vesica shape with the um, cross in it, um, rather nice and decorative. And actually, it's very tiny, you probably won't be able to read it, um, but just here it's stamped with the word Oxford, which suggests, um, obviously, a uh, provenance for either where the book itself was made or, at the very least, where it was bound. And the book is, um, it's a book of common prayer. It also includes um, various um, items on the church calendar and um, the orders of service, so the correct services that should have been used at different um, dates during the calendar within the Church of England. So it's a nice little religious book um, and as I say embellished with this little clasp and that brings me on to the last book which I want to show you which is a book which combines almost all of the different elements which I've spoken about um, on the other books in, in this session today so this is a book with a beautiful binding that has various different aspects to it so the spine it's very tiny it's rather lovely the spine is bound in leather and it's embossed and then gilt. So we've got the leather with the embossing and the gilding as we had on the early books. We then have an unusual material used for the binding. Now I'm not absolutely certain, but I'm fairly sure that these covers are actually um, bound with horn. So I think that this, if you, it feels a little bit like plastic. I think these are sheets of horn that have been um, put on in order to, to cover it. Looking a little bit like ivory, but obviously much cheaper than ivory. Um, it's got the edgings um, in, um, in bronze or brass. It's got a little clasp, just like the previous one. What it also has, which the others don't have, is that the edges of the pages, as well as being gilt, have been embossed too. So the pages have been held together and then embossed with a tool um, in a similar way to the way that the covers have on some of the others. Finally, it also has, um, in addition to the clasp, it's got this little mount that's on the front. So this also is um, copper alloy, bronze or brass. It's been enamelled with two different shades of blue enamel, and it has the word Mizpah across the middle. Now, Mizpah is um, a word that is used in the Bible. Um, I have just got to get my notes so that I get this correct. In the book of Genesis, it is mentioned that... Um, uh, where are we? So... Okay, so yes, um, in, in the book of Genesis, there is a story of Jacob and Laban, who was Jacob's father-in-law, um, making a pile of stones to mark an agreement between them. And Mizpah is the Hebrew word for a watchtower. So they referred to this pile of stones as a watchtower. It was a symbol of their agreement. And even though there was no one else there to witness their agreement, they said that the watchtower was a symbol that God was witness to their agreement. So Mizpah, meaning a watchtower, came to mean, um, some, came to mean um, a symbol of an agreement between two people. And over time, that came to um, mean... Um, something it, it came to symbolise um, agreements between either two very close friends or more often between lovers. Um, so particularly in the Victorian period, when people um, were a couple but um, were not yet formally engaged, they would sometimes exchange gifts that had the word Mizpah on to represent their emotional bond. Um, they also were often exchanged at times when someone was good, one of the um, people was going away, for instance, to war, particularly if they thought they might not come back. Um, so Mizpah 
you get jewellery with it on. It's rather nice to have it on the cover of this little book. So that represents, obviously, a very personal meaning for this book. This, again, is the Book of Common Prayer. It also has additional things in it, including, for instance... Um, let me see if I can get it back here. Um, the ways of consecrating bishops, priests, deacons, um, all, the, all, all sorts of interesting things relating to the church. So this is a rather lovely book, and it... Within this one book, it shows off um, almost all of the techniques that I showed you on the other books that I got out earlier. So I hope you've enjoyed this, this quick run through some of the books that we have with beautiful bindings. Um, there are many more in the collection. I hope you find lots of them and feel free to bring them and show them to me when you do. Um, next month's special collection spotlight session, um, we'll be looking at some of the treasures of the Library of the British Sundial Society, which we currently store within Bromley House. So I hope to see you then. Thank you very much for watching.